All right, everyone, so kind of a little special video. No, it's not a vlog. Now, before I actually do, in fact, start, this Friday vlog is probably going to be bumped a little bit later onto the upcoming weekend. Don't worry about it, okay? It's going to be uploaded, and it is going to be, um, like, I'm telling you, it's, it's going to be a great video since it's going to be a football video, and it's going to be ESA versus Odyssey, and it's actually La Coupe Evangeline. It's going to be pretty epic. Either way, let's hop right into the subject. Now, our school actually did something quite special or like different. Maybe unique is the best word to describe it. But basically, our entire school went downtown to do kind of like a climate change walk and etc. Now, I'm not going to necessarily express my opinion about it. I'll mostly stay like neutral about it. So I just kind of want to stay more of a professional way. But I'm certain some people actually wanted to see the clip since I've like filmed the politicians actually make their speech about the environment and then etc. Now, we will have five special guests. Now, before I do in fact continue, if I've made any um, mistakes in this, let's just say I'm not a politician master i don't know <laughs> everything about it but we have five special guests the first one is actually going to be david coon and he's actually part of the green party and he is the leader of them and then afterwards we'll have matt the corsi and he is part of the red team aka liberal and he's their parliamentary secretary to the minister of foreign affairs and then afterwards we'll have jenica altwin she's part of the green party and she's the researcher and program coordinator for first nations education then at fort we will have jeff Cart, and he is part of yellow i think that's what i believe but basically it's named progressive conservative and his title is minister of environment and local government now a little plot twist actually happened for him exactly when he was actually about to do his speech we were gonna leave back to go back to school and let's just say our teacher had to like interrupt his little speech but it was quite funny then at last we have a special guest his name is actually ron trombley and he's the grand chief of the woolastock grand council um i'm not too certain necessarily what is wrong but we also have a special performance made by sydney trites and oh my god she did a fantastic job either way let's just hop right into the speech i think that is all that i have to say but as i mentioned I'm not going to say my opinion about the whole climate change and etc since that's not what this video is about. The video is about the speeches that were made by the politicians and the performance and the speech of the young ones. It's, it's, it's pretty interesting. Bonjour tout le monde. So, 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 la planète. So, 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 la planète. So, 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 la planète. Mais 
Mais écoutez, écoutez bien, il ne sera pas facile. Il ne sera pas facile. La lutte pour l'action climatique, c'est une lutte contre les intérêts de statu quo. Par exemple, nous devons y avoir une décroissance dans l'industrie pétrolière globale afin de sauver la planète. Mais comme Greta Thunberg a dit, les grandes entreprises, les banques et les gouvernements croient à une croissance économique sans limite. En même temps, il doit y avoir un changement dans notre culture de consommation. Ce n'est pas difficile, il sera difficile. Il sera difficile. C'est pourquoi ce mouvement doit continuer à se développer. C'est pourquoi il est so important que ce mouvement continue à grow et Nous devons porter le mouvement sur les campus universitaires. Nous devons porter le mouvement sur les campus de collège communautaire. Et nous devons porter le mouvement à l'intérieur de l'Assemblée législative. Il faudra du travail. Êtes-vous prêts à travailler? Oui! C'est la demande de l'engagement. Êtes-vous engagé? Oui! Êtes-vous engagé? Oui! Êtes-vous avec moi? Oui! Alors, prenez-vous en main. Travaillez ensemble et bougez. On y va! Together is the only way we are going to build the kind of future we want. And so we need to work together, we need to continue to move forward, and we need to be committed to this movement and carry it forward onto the campuses of the universities when you get there, onto the campuses of the community colleges, into our homes, into our churches, and onto the streets. So let's go everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. pour nos étudiants qui nous gèrent vers un futur plus prospère et plus meilleur. Moi, je m'appelle Matt Ducorsi. Pour les quatre dernières années, j'ai servi la communauté comme député fédéral et je suis candidat libéral. Et je suis ici à remercier nos jeunes qui sont entourés de nos alliés adultes dans la communauté à vous dire que nous savons bien, moi je le sais, le premier ministre le sait, votre gouvernement fédéral sait bien que le changement climatique est l'enjeu le plus important de notre temps et pour l'avenir de notre pays. Et moi, je sais qu'avec vos voix et avec vos actions, nous allons nous rendre à un avenir plus vert et plus durable. Après les années d'inaction par Stephen Harper, c'est notre gouvernement libéral qui a officiellement reconnu l'urgence climatique et nous prenons plus de 50 mesures déjà pour atteindre les objectifs du Canada et lutter contre les changements climatiques. We've already acknowledged as a government that the climate change emergency is an emergency today and we're already taking 50 measures that are helping bring us towards a cleaner and greener future. We're phasing out single-use plastics and banning them completely in the next two years. We know that they can no longer end up in our oceans, our rivers, and in our landfills. We are phasing out carbon and moving to 90% renewables by building wind farms on the prairies, solar panels, geothermal, and housing the ground. fossil fuel subsidies because we know we have to shift to a greener 
cleaner economy, and we have to do so in a way that leaves no one behind. Not anybody in New Brunswick, not anybody in Ontario, not anybody in British Columbia, and not anybody in Alberta. We need to do this together, and with young people leading the way, we are going to be able to make this happen. The Prime Minister met today with Greta Thunberg and assured her that Canada would be an international leader and that we will meet our Paris targets and we will meet it with the leadership of the young people here today. Thank you all so much. Merci beaucoup. Jeff Carr, I'm the Minister de l'Environnement à Nouveau-Brunswick. My French is not very good. Sorry for that, but we all have something in common. We love our planet. Right? right? And we want to save our environment so that we can all have a healthy future. David has talked about it relentlessly in the legislature. Thank you for that, David, and your members. You speak about it religiously in the legislature. You'll be happy to know that we are doing some things, but not enough. We will never be able to do enough, I don't think. We can do more all the time. Your activism is heard around the world. It's heard here in the province of New Brunswick. But we should do more and we can do more. And leaders like myself and David and our colleagues have to open our ears, not just our eyes, and hear you, right? I did not get permission to cut down trees, dear. That's not my job. No, tourism minister. If you'd like to let me speak, I will educate you on that. That was the Minister of Tourism, or that was the Ministry of Tourism, or that was the city. So here's a few things that we're doing. Boo! See, that's what I like about kids these days. They voice their opinions. It's okay. Hey, Charles. Charles LeBlanc, the professional blogger, is here as well, and he's videoing. Hey. So immediately in the next year, we're going to eliminate plastics at, at some point in time, right? So we're going to get rid of plastic bags, uh, all the heavy packaging, reduce our emissions as usual. We have to continue to do that. Protect our wetlands and our waterlands. Protect our lakes and our, and our streams. But emissions is one of the hugest, biggest things that we have to talk about right now. Because we are mandated to reduce our emissions in the world. And New Brunswick is ahead of the curve on that. Little did I know before I took this job. Okay. Are these, these are speakers? Okay. Everybody has to go back to school. So continue your talk. Continue educating the rest of us. Enjoy your day. Thank you. Have a good day. My name is Ron Trombley, I'm the Wallace Traditional Grand Chief. Back in 1991, before you all were born, 
I sat in a class up at the University of New Brunswick. We had one of the elders from the Manawaki Nation, William Commander, come and speak. He spoke of this day. He said there will be a group of young people who will finally awaken. He called them the Rainbow Warriors. stand and I promise you that I will stand in front of you to protect you. I will be beside you to support you because we only have one Mother Earth. We need to protect water, we need to protect the air for you, for your children, and for the next seven generations. <laughs> Together, we can make this change. Together, we can make this change. your uncles, let them know to vote strategically who is going to help your future. Pick the party who best represents your future. Now that we've heard all of the speeches from the higher title people, let's hear what the young ones have to say about global warming.
T'es fou, un petit joueur Tu vas toujours vivre sur la planète, même si jamais on a que 12 autres à, à vivre comme euh, hypothèse. Mais avant qu'on meure tous après 12 ans de cette planète, j'aimerais au moins qu'on puisse avoir son meilleur état. Now, let's just say that the speeches are very much more different compared to the high title people, but they were still very interesting, and most of them express obviously the same message, which is simply, we have to do a changement. <laughs> Now, obviously the speeches were very much more different compared to the high title people, but we can all agree that we all want the same thing, which is something to be done with global warming, and for actions to be taken for it to be less bad, since we can see the effects of global warming everywhere in this role. But obviously, global warming is simply two simple words, but behind it there is a big meaning. And scientists are still discovering the effects of global warming and the impacts of it on the environment. This problem can easily be solved, but humans sometimes don't put the effort to do simple actions to simply help the environment. 
And we cannot let that happen. We have to take actions and do simple things like recycling, reusing, giving objects a second life, and stop consuming too many products because it creates a lot of pollution. We also need to continue putting pressure on the government and the politicians for us to be heard, and for actions to be done for global warming to be solved, and most importantly, educate ourselves for the best decisions to be taken on problems in life. Now, I am obviously, I am not here to express my own opinion, but these are simple basic thoughts on the situation. But simply think twice before you do something, because anything you do will reflect you or impact you later in life. This day, he said there will be a group of young people who will finally awaken. He called them the Rainbow Warriors.